would be my pleasure. Thank you so very much, Trace. And I'm not sure if you can hear me because I can't hear myself. I can now. I found the magical button. I'm joined by Chad, and we've already seen first blood. Already Ariel down. Sponge, we were told to keep our eyes on him as a win condition, according to Pimp. And he certainly has been uh, both their very biggest asset and somewhat of a weak link at times. Yeah, Natu actually has uh, said the same, that this kid has a lot of potential, but... We kick things off here with the first man to fall towards mid. The second killer coming as Wasp will find the head of Lexi B. Let's see how this one shapes up already. The round looking like it's over. Fantastic opening work from Woxic and closing as well. Bookend frags. Love, but this one here should just be an absolute farm right now. They push up mid towards East. He's going to get tagged on down. He will fall. Oh dear. Woxic should be able to keep hold of this one. Thank oh. goodness Dead Fox is there, but Alexi B has found two with the USP. It's fun to say, even funner for Ents fans, because now all of a sudden fun is not a word. Two versus two. And my goodness, things have gone from bad to worse for Hellraiser. Charge up middle. Alexi's made the AK work. It's now all on Hobbit. He's only got a Mac 10 and they're pre-aiming him. They managed to make the full eco. And I think they're going to convert it. Hobbit's got no health, no hope. And no life left, Entz. They secure it with wow. just... Hey, Entz won the round previously on just the pistols up mid. I don't think Wox is going to let that happen. Now he's got the big, I was going to say, green gun. He's rather more flamboyant than that, but Alexi B does what he did previously. Gets one with the USP. Fortunately, they stabilize this as quick double. But over towards this B bomb site is where the action is going to take place. Still 50 seconds left, but four players in tunnel about to explode through this smoke. It's big cojones from X7. He's right next to that smoke, but the flash, he's let him... Slip away just a little bit, walks away, fires off the warning shots. Now he's going to catch them through smoke. They're all bleeding internally. He did tag up another. That's not enough, though. Hobbit down to four, but he's still on site. Bomb will go down. The molly to keep them at bay. Throws the bomb to his injured teammate. I worry he could get caught on the spray from Alexi here. No, nope. safe and sound for now. It's a three versus two. Big duel here. He has to win this. Ariel about to challenge. Nice bait, but the molly's there. Oh, no, it's not. Woxic, Butterfingers, slips up on the molly. Now chooses to go wide and makes up for it. 2v2. Pressure being applied to Hobbit now. He just has to survive, and he's going to catch him just as the flashbang pops. Just on alley now. No kid either. Yeah, he's going to start to back away, but punished again. Hobbit, how are you taking these fights? I certainly wouldn't. Oh, but what? Woxic. He's got a mouse map the size of a postage stamp, but he can still hit shots like that. Ariel. Caught off guard. How does he hit that? Three challenging towards X7 and Sergei. This is where the all can come into its own, but it's all about that AK aim. Chooses to go evasive. It's all on X7. Their aim was drawn for just a moment, but again, the B site open. Ents need to work this out. Why, why can they not hold B? I have no idea what's going on towards the side. They're not ready for the heads up duels. Dead Fox is normally a player on this team of Hellraisers who's critiqued for just more being a support player, not having a lot of impact until we get to the later stages and then he finds a miraculous three piece. But over towards this B bomb site, entering in time and time again, they're taking advantage of the fact that Sergey, he's been tagged up a lot, yep. and X7's not able to get anything done. They're just walking in on this guy and taking him down every time. I just want to check the scoreboard, see where that. Yep, so Sergey has really been struggling. I mean, he has two kills to his name, 10 deaths. He's died every round of play so far, and a big part of that, of course, on that B site. In the meantime, Alu is going to get caught out. Another death for him, and it's down to Alexi to keep hold of the org, and he actually may not have a guarantee. Voxic, that is ambitious. Here's another problem. Because they're playing so defensive in this B bomb site, the rotation to A, where we can see four players are, as Alu's going to find another, is so far away. So if Hellraiser's pulled the trigger and just accelerated on the A attack, it would have been a 2v4, but right now they're finding themselves, I was going to say with the number advantage, but hold up a second. Watch out for Wopsick. He is on, as is Dead Fox, catches a fantastic spray through X7. Every bullet connecting the final to the brain. Numbers, once again, disadvantage for Ents, and they just take the fights. Where are they? And now Alexi B and Sergey tested once again. Great connection from Sergey. Alexi needs to do the same, and they do. A double from Sergey. Looking for three. Wopsick's not going to make it easy. Back into the site, the AWP, the entry fragger, it's Woxic, of course it is. Back to Tons, it's going to be his responsibility. The bomb's not going to be down for him, and therefore more closing in on keeping Angel safe. Two CTs just on the other side of that wall. Every noise you make will be heard, and he knows it. The Molotov's going to make plenty of noise. That's so much info. They're pushing through it, and Angel, softened up, is going to find both. Hello. He's there as well. He's only got the orb. This is going to be 13 for Hellraisers unless this man does something absolutely crazy. Goes wide. It's not good enough. No time. No hope. 
And Mox seals the deal. 13. It's strange that Harry's are holding this formation for so long, but now that Hobbit's spotted something, it has to change. Yeah, Hobbit is going to make the call. So many numbers throwing at him, and he's just going to have to try and back off. They know they could. Oh, what a shot from Woxic. My goodness. That did look almost inhuman. A quick tap, one shot, one kill. Now 4v4, but the retake is coming in before the bomb even goes down. They start their charge. Alu's punishing all of them, though. Body shots, just clock bullets pummeling into the rib cages of Hellraiser. It's a bit of a stability brought by Woxic, but now 1v2. Angel, he's been shot in the backside. It's Alu again, three. Best of three, of course. X7 in the meantime, game challenged on long. Looking for more with the Galil, but it's not enough. That's long neutralized. A, safe. Great work from the CTs here. Hobbit and Issa found the first. Woxic in the meantime was keeping short safe. For now, it's just Ariel and Alexi B. Short, that's some control up mid, but it is two versus four. They have to go above the line of duty. And I love this angle from Dead Fox. He is going to be flashed. He Great is going to be fragged. We've got something here, Chad. Fantastic teamwork under pressure there. The bomb will go down and the Molotov is going to come in very handy on Ariel here, as well as the smoke from Alexi. This is going to delay a choke point or two. So paranoid about tunnels. They just don't have the resources to safely cover all of those entrances. They're going to give it their best shot, though. That molly's very deep. They chose to push through it before. Kit is not present, if my eyes don't deceive me, which makes things very awkward for Hellraisers. They start their push. Here we go. Alexi B, where's the cover? Ariel gets one, but that's enough. They clean it up. And have they got time? I don't think they do. Scarpa, get out of there. Ensa found their sixth. Starting to aggress now. This is going to be the first. He has to get more than one hit. That's enough. Now backs away. Gets away with his life and health. Now he finds a double, but Ariel and Sergei respond in kind. Aggression through the smoke from Wopsic does get traded, but he did find one. And now Angel is here. This is a chaotic round. Trying to go wide, but I don't think he's expecting this. They're already on site. He gets one. Surely not a second one. Wopsic has to survive. It is truly. Bloodshed central on this A side, but I think they're getting away with it. The CTs, they hold fast. Alexi B has to do more than that. Two versus three. Woxic does fall to Alexi B's AK, but it's all on him now. Has to get two more. Looking for the 4K in the round. He gets forced out by the Molotov, and I can hear Hellraisers from here. 15 is found as they are now looking to secure what will be a very important round. They're charging into the lion's den. Info being gathered on long, sure. But it's actually more Issa who's going to have to do a whole lot of heroics to keep this round from slipping away. Backing away, the flash is going to force him off. But Hobbit, spectacular double. He needed that. Hence, they have to work with three. Starting to cross again. In the meantime, Angel's going to deal with it. And no, that's what? the game. How does it end so quick? Issa finds a double as well.